you may be thinking right now in your life, I don't feel like there's light in my heart right now. I am Liliana going through darkness. And really it looks like, and it feels like, I don't see any stairs, I don't see any steps. I don't see any pathways or roads. I don't know where to go. You know, God Almighty, who has created you and I, has said something wonderful in His Word. And I would like to read with you right now what He said. He wrote it just for you. And I will bring the blind by a way that they know not. I will lead them in the paths that they have not known. I will make darkness into light before them and make uneven places into a plain. These things I have determined to do for them and I will not leave them or forsake them. How powerful it is. Do you see that God has written this for you? He wants to do these good things for you. You know, there was a time when I didn't know where to go or where to turn. Just so, like some of you right now that are sitting on a chair or a couch and, and wondering, you know, really, I don't know what to do. God wants to take you by the hand and lead you so that your next step will be clear and bright. But the enemy is working so hard to keep us into our dark spots, into our dark spaces that we think just like a blind person, as the picture is here shown. That we think, I don't know where to turn. I am not confident enough. It's so dark in my life. I don't see the steps. I don't see the way. You know, Satan, the enemy of your soul and your life, wants to keep you put there and think there is no way out. But I praise God that there is light and there is way out. And God wants to give it to you. You know, when I was born, my daddy didn't like that I was a girl, so uh, he was not a happy man. And looking back through that, you know, the lifestyle that I was living as a little girl, there was lots of tension. There was lots of abuse. My dad was a drunkard and um, he would beat my mother in front of me. and. I did not understand all those things and as growing up and seeing all that abuse and, and filling up my heart with fear, um, there, was, there were dark spots in my heart and my thinking. I was ending up growing full of fear and thinking, you know, I can't do anything. I can't go to university. I can't go and achieve this. I ended up with very low, low self-esteem and you may feel that way something has come in your life that has jerked you and shaken you and you think it's finished I thought it was done no one cares for me take a knife and kill yourself and maybe some thoughts have come to your mind like that that you know life is finished for me but do not give up because God loves you. He wants to open your eyes and get you out of that darkness. And you need to reach out to Him. And it was only then when I heard that Jesus Christ loves me and He has given His life so that I do not have to take my life. He has given His life for me, for my sins. 
He loved me so much. You know, he did the same thing for you. He has given his life. He went on the cross for you. And that's what the enemy doesn't want to see you. That there is a light at the end of the tunnel. That there is a light, but you need to give, come to the light giver, to God, Lord Jesus Christ himself. And that's what I did. I called upon his name. Lord Jesus, please come in my life. Clean me from my sins. Lead me step by step. Just as the word says here, he would lead the blind. And I was blind, but praise God, there is hope for you and I. And if you feel like right now in your life, you feel just like a blind person, stop feeling that way because that's not the reality. It's just the feeling. The enemy wants to corner you and keep you there so that you won't reach out to God Almighty because God wants to bring light in every little bit of your darkness. You need to let him in. And you may say, oh, well, I never did that. You can do it right now. Just pray as I did, Lord Jesus, God Almighty, please come in my life. Clean me from my sins. I need you. I really do not see steps and pathways and roads that I'm to take. Show me, lead me to walk as you please. And he will do that. Give him the opportunity. Invite him into your life, in your daily life. And you will see him lead step by step. Praise God. He's such a good God. You may be saying, well, I am God's child. I have Jesus in my heart and my life. But still I feel like right now I'm at a crossing point and I don't know where to go or where to turn. You have certain decisions to make in your life. What do I do? You know, when you and I come in a room that is dark and someone turns on a switch, turns on the light, the darkness disappears. It, it's just beautiful to see light again. And you know, that's the time, that's the that's the time when you don't feel and you know you don't have the answers. The darkness is crouching on you to come to the Word of God, to come to God Himself. He is your source. As the Word of God says in Psalm 119, and we read in verse 105, your word is a lamp to my feet and the light unto my path. I want to encourage you as his child, go to the word and use his word as that lamp. Apply it into your life as you read and he points it out to you. Do this and don't do that. You know, he has that. His word is a flashlight at every step and every corner that you don't have to think a lot. If you come close to him, to the living word of God, and ask him for guidance and leading, and he will lead you always on a good path. Because he has good thoughts for you good plans and he wants a good outcome for you there is light for you and your life and your situation reach up to him just say Lord God Almighty I need you guide me lead me speak to me through your word and he will do that he loves you <laughs>